Now we are uh, asking Mr. Basu De Paul, founder AI Ethics Advisory Group Chairman, Palif Foundation. Mr. Paul is the founder of Ethics Advisory Group, AI Ethics Advisory Group, a flagship initiative under the Palif Foundation. His family is non-profit charitable organization. He is committed to shaping a future where AI is safe, ethical, and equitable for all. The floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. We stand at the cusp of a revolution. Uh, thank you, uh, President Okam. And I want to say a special thanks to <clears throat> Gloria Star Keynes, who had been a force to reckon with for many generations to bring people together for good, both in the nation and outside. So thank you so much, Gloria. Um, while most of the large corporations worldwide, starting with the Googles, the Facebooks, and everybody else, is in an arm race for data and making trillion dollars, I'm very excited and I'm very hopeful that a platform like this brings the other side to the mix, the people who do not have the trillion dollar, people who need the help, people who need the protection. So one of the areas that I'm very passionate about, my team is very passionate about, and I, I'm very happy to be here and hearing all the distinguished speakers talk about is how do we make AI equitable, accessible, ethical, and safe for most important thing. What I'm going to do, we're going to have a very quick video that summarizes the ideas of what the good and the bad and how we can get to it. We have a very small presentation, which is more of a interaction. Please, please, please ask any number of questions that you have. We'll be more than happy to answer those. And most importantly, we have two organizations that where we're trying to help is help you build the right solution at an extraordinary, affordable way as well as use processes, platforms, and tools to educate our leaders, political leaders, and community leaders, then motivate them to legislate, which is very important to create the framework, and then implement safe AI. These are the things that we're going to discuss. By AI, one that holds immense promise, but also demands careful navigation. Left unchecked, AI can deepen inequalities, embed harmful biases, and affect vulnerable communities, especially in the global south. The question isn't just what AI can do, but how can we ensure its benefits reach everyone equitably and safely? This calls for a new vision, safe AI without borders. AI is already breaking barriers from AI-powered diagnostics preventing blindness in India to AI voice calls delivering tutoring via basic forms in sub-Saharan Africa. It's optimizing resources, predicting disasters, and conserving the environment. But the risks are real and growing, from biased weather forecasts affecting lives to deep fakes fueling unrest and tragic personal consequences, AI's failures can be devastating. So, how do we ensure AI is a force for good? We believe the answer lies in three critical pillars. Let's explore the first pillar on how AI can remove impediments to accelerate progress toward the SDGs worldwide. First, we need to address the barriers preventing equitable access like infrastructure gaps, economic constraints, skill deficits, and data scarcity. So, how do we democratize AI? By adapting proven technologies, investing in local talent, building collaborative ecosystems with governments, NGOs, and foundations, and by focusing squarely on impact, especially where resources are scarce. This brings us to pillar two. What can the global community do? We propose a profit-to-purpose model 
where organizations reinvest a portion of their profits to fund AI initiatives, provide AI platforms at low or no cost, and mobilize voluntary expertise and time to drive impactful change. This model has worked before in public health. Through partnerships, tiered access, and foundation support, we can adapt these strategies to democratize AI for social good. Yet, even accessible AI must be governed ethically. Pillar 3 addresses just that. AI's potential for harm stems from biased data, lack of transparency, and accountability gaps. So, how do we build trust as we govern AI? We start by educating, raising AI literacy across policymakers, industry, and the public. Then we legislate with clear, fair regulations. And finally, we implement through best practices, rigorous testing, and human oversight. Our collective goal must be clear. Advocate for ethical policies, invest in responsible solutions, collaborate across sectors, empower through education, and oversee AI's development and deployment. Together, we can shape a future where AI truly works for all. We stand at the cusp of a... Thank you. Thank you. Two things that I wanted to mention, most importantly, are... We have an organization where we build, like a Lego blocks, all the components that you need. Whether you want to have a healthcare solution, you want an education solution, you want an elderly care solution, where people don't have their spouses or partners and you need to help them. Whether you need to de develop <coughs> things like um, you know, quick delivery during the disaster. We have the basic building blocks, or the Lego blocks, where we can very quickly in a matter of weeks and months, put together a solution and bring it to you at a very, very affordable price to address the situation. Sometime we'll bring it to you at no price, depending on how we can collaborate and fund it. We also have worked for the last two years, while most of the organizations, the commercial organizations, were trying to chase data to be the next biggest platform, so the two or three exists, like the Googles and Facebook. We spend tons of our time and resources and money and talents to make sure that we have AI delivered safe. So we have developed processes, skill sets, team, and most importantly, platform, where you can use our platform to customize for your industry or your use case to make AI accountable and ethical by automatically auditing and testing so that when it goes out of the out in the field to be used whether by a medical uh, institution by a uh, insurance institution by educational institution by government they are all tested and correctly monitored even after delivery so we can really make sure the people who are not protected may not be that well versed with all the technologies they are not taken advantage of. Thank you. Thank you very much. This was a very useful video. I hope we will have access to it in future as well.